know who planted the near-fatal car bomb that crippled the Earth-first activist. I think they did all they could do to try to pin it on me instead. I, I think they tried all to do that they could to make sure they didn't find the bomber. Are federal investigators ignoring important evidence in their zeal to prosecute Earth first? Then we go on patrol with the Sea Cops. They're part of a new breed of police, the Eco Crime Fighters. Their job, busting toxic dumpers and protecting the waters off Miami. And the greening of Grateful Dead guitarist Bob Weir. We take a bike ride with the veteran rocker and see how he's mellowed as the dead enters its third decade. I started to realize that if I want to live out my years on a planet that's capable of supporting life, I was going to have to do something about it. All that and more as you connect with Network Earth. Last September, we ran a story on Judy projects. Still to come, Deadhead Alert. We'll be biking and rocking with Grateful Dead guitarist Bob Weir next. Bob Weir is one of the founding members of the Grateful Dead. And over the years, he's become the group's most active environmentalist. I started to realize that if I want to live out my years on a planet that's capable of supporting life, I was going to have to do something about it. While on tour in Atlanta recently, Bob and I went mountain biking. And where else in the city but the path of a future highway? Look at that. We're going to blacktop the entire country eventually. You're right. Did you see much clear cutting when you were riding through the Rockies? <laughs> uh, I saw about half forest and half, uh, half clear cut. We about half and half. It was uh, heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. They say it's going to grow back, but it never does. How does that make you feel? Ah, uh, pissed off. It's a terrible thing that they're doing to our forests. Um, they're willfully ignorant of the fact that they're destroying the land, and much more than just the forest. They're destroying wildlife habitat. Uh, beyond that, uh, they're, destroy they're just destroying the weather system. How do you feel about the fact that a lot of your fans just drop stuff on the way out? Uh, not real good about that. We try to promote awareness about that sort of stuff. Um, and it, I, I have to think that at least a good, a good number of them pick up on that. There's trash after every uh, gathering of uh, a lot of people. And we, we're trying to do something about that. What we found that we can do about that is clean it up and sort through it and recycle it. Whatever we we'll never get far from what we if you take our environmental practices right now and multiply it by 10, which is kind of what we're looking at in the next 30 years or so, you can see that uh, the, the end is really pretty, pretty near. We should respect, uh, respect the planet, respect the stuff that it gives us, use it sparingly, and, uh, and we should pay for it. Part of working for a living these days is uh, working for a world to live in, because it's, it's not a given anymore. You can log on to Network Earth's computer forum through CompuServe Information Service. Call. On this edition of How